So tonight I saw uh, a new Brazilian film that premiered, I think it premiered at the Cannes Film Festival, or at least it competed in the Cannes Film Festival. This was Kleber Mendoza Filo's Aquarius. It stars Sonia Braga. I had no idea that it was two and a half hours when I went to go see it. I was like, I love Sonia Braga. I'm going to go see this movie. Um, there's a lot of controversy about this film and Brazilian politics. I suggest you look that up on Wikipedia because it's very complicated. Um, the film is about gentrification, basically, and it's in three parts. You see um, Sonia Braga's character in 1980. Uh, it's about the first 20 minutes of the film or so. Um, and then you see the rest of the film. It takes place contemporarily uh, as Sonia Braga is still in the same apartment. She's now, obviously, uh, 35 years older. And she... The rest of the apartment is being, um, the apartment is on the beach. It's prime, prime, you know, real estate. And everyone else in the apartment has sold, so the condos, so everyone else in the apartment has sold their condos. And the um, company, the, the construction company is doing lots of things to try to get her to leave her apartment. And she's just like, fuck you. And so the rest of the film is sort of the harassment, her reactions to the harassment, and her relationships with her friends and family. Um, and all of that happens in two and a half hours, and it never feels like two and a half hours. It, it, you're just so sucked in by her performance. The whole film is her. Like, I don't think there's a single scene, pretty much, other than that first 20 minutes with the younger version of her, um, that, you're, that you don't, aren't uh, following her story and what's happening with her, and, and she's just such a dynamic... I guess there's a couple of scenes with her housekeeper, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, she's such a dynamic actress that it's just, like, it kind of like American Honey, where it was two and a half hours, and it ended, and I was like, no, come back. That's kind of how I felt with this one. I was like, no, come back. I love this world. Um, I mean, it's a horrible world, and I feel bad that she has to go through this shit, but, like, I love being with this character so much that I, I didn't want to leave her. Um, and it has a perfect ending like the final scene is such a mic drop I was like whoa I was literally clapping clapping for the character clapping for the film I was like yes this is great um so I really I just really recommend this film uh it had it had a lot to say about Brazilian society and I don't know enough to know like exactly what it was saying but it I could tell there, there were some some uh critiques of uh, class and race in Brazil that were in this film on top of the gentrification. Um, it also had a really great dig at America and American business practices where I was like, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Um, I just think it's a great film. And if you get a chance to see it, you should definitely go see it. It's I think it's only playing here in Atlanta for the rest of the week. I think it ends on Thursday. Uh, so you should, you should check it out if you get a chance. It's playing other places. I think Sonia Braga is, this is maybe her best performance. I, um, I think it's probably one of the best performances I've seen. All, not probably, it is. It is one of the best performances I've seen all year. Um, I, I just couldn't look away. I want to spend all my time with this character. Um, and this movie has, like, on top of all the politics, this movie has everything pretty much in life. It has, like, an old lady thing. There's this piece of furniture. It's so good. I love this part. There's this piece of furniture that you kind of follow throughout the story. You don't really follow it, but you do. And at one point in the 80, 80 thing, it's the 70th birthday of her, her crazy aunt. Not crazy in a bad way, but, like, this aunt that's lived a life. And the aunt, while her, like nieces and nephews or great nieces and nephews are reading her, you know, a letter about how great she is. She keeps looking at this piece of furniture and she keeps imagining all the sex she's had on this furniture. And it's really graphic and amazing. Um, so you get that, like cunnilingus, all kinds of stuff. A little bit later, you get like some really erect penises. Um, I'm going to tell you all these things. You get a baby poop, like getting cleaned. You get like breastfeeding. You get what it looks like when you've had a mastectomy. Like, there's so many things in this film that I'm like, pretty much everything is in this film. Um, I mean, like, pretty much the only thing this film was missing was, like, a blowjob, which there's been enough blowjobs in cinema, you know. Uh, but there was a lot of, there was a lot of cunnilingus, so I'm always into that. Um, 
And then to top it all off, it has an amazing rock and roll soundtrack. And, and Sonia Braga's character, Clara, has like the greatest LP collection maybe ever in cinema. Um, I just want to hang out with her and listen to her records in her like indoor uh, hammock. That sounds like a good life, to be honest. So this was um, written and directed by Kleber Mendoza Filo, and it's from this year. It's uh, from Brazil. It's called Aquarius. It stars the great Sonia Braga. You should definitely try to find it if you can. It is fantastic. Have a good night.